organisation is called Voltempo. We're based in, in the West Midlands. Uh, we manufacture electric vehicle charging hubs. The idea of the project is quite simple. It's to decarbonise the heavy goods vehicle sector. So we've pulled together some of the largest fleets in the country, plus a lot of the SMEs as well. We brought in the OEMs. and We've looked at the whole picture of, of what's required to electrify current fleets. We're also going to be helping the fleets themselves with their decarbonisation journey. They have to decarbonise and replace uh, diesel vehicles with electric over time. Uh, this allows people to get early learnings and get ahead of the game. Innovate introduced us to Voltempo very early on in, in, in this project being shaped. We worked together in collaboration to design a project which ensured access to operators and SMEs alike so everyone could perform part of this project. People that normally get left behind were now part of this project. And that's the exciting part of what World Tempo brought to the table. As a manufacturer, we would love to see hefty incentives behind the, the vehicles. But actually, in many ways, this is a better use of the Department for Transport Investment in that it is stimulating all of the elements that need to come together to make electric heavy goods vehicles work. So electrification is great, but it creates its own problems as well. So where do you get the power from? How do you deliver it into the vehicles very quickly? So we've created a centralised charging system, which can then split the power out to multiple vehicles. So you can charge one or two vehicles really quickly to keep them on the road. At night, you can charge a whole fleet all at the same time from the same system. Right now, if you're buying charging hardware, it's all imported into the country. Our project will actually be manufacturing here in the West Midlands. It will offset around £120 million worth of charger imports over the next seven years. So the first two years is about setting everything up and getting the vehicles on the road. By 2026 and beyond, we'll be expecting the initial trials to be uh, proving successful. We'll be moving trucks into different areas of the business and backfilling with new electric trucks so that by 2030, we have thousands of electric vehicles on the road. And this is one way we can deliver a zero emission future.